So the last crate opening video got over 10,000 likes in the first 10 hours. That is absolutely insane. So today I am back not opening 100 crates, but this time opening 200 crates. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video, a nice chilled, relaxing crate opening. So please do sit back, relax, make sure you've got some food and some drink with you if, if, if you want to, of course. I'm not going to force you. <laughs> also, by the time this video goes out, we might be at 660,000 subscribers. And of course, I'm doing giveaways at every 10,000 subscribers. So I will be giving away the best item we get in this game to one of you lot on my Discord server, which you can find linked in the description below. If you are part of the 70.1% of people watching this video that aren't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army on our road to 700,000 subscribers and 1 million subscribers in the year 2021. Let's delay no further. And obviously, this is currently the most recent crate we have in Rocket League. We don't have a new crate this year so far. I'm going to take off the headphones because it's actually ridiculously loud and we're going to carry on. Uh, but that looked quite cool. I, I've obviously I've got two titanium white fennecs, so I'm giving one of them away. But I thought for this video, before I choose the winner, I'd record one with the white fennec and the white zombies. So that way all the items we get in the crate, if we get a black market decal or something, it has a really cool car to match. If we get a painted vehicle, it has a really cool car to match. So I feel like that would be a really, really cool idea. So 200 crates opening them. I don't know what my speed is, but look at that, man. Even getting a hot rocks looks sick. We've got the white pixelated shades for your boy. Let's do, I think... Probably mixing up a, a few superstitions in this video, but yeah, I'm not going to get tired of seeing this car. So we're going to kick it off with a no reaction crate. Here we go. And we're going to carry on. It uh, wasn't bad, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. So we move on. We've got all sorts of different superstitions we were going to do. I was thinking of potentially... Ooh. Sticker bomb. Sticker bomb black. I don't remember getting the sticker bomb that much. I was thinking of potentially doing a Q&A during this video, but I thought I did do one of those recently. If you want me to do... Oh, Crimson Discotech with like a, a, a nice, almost like a grayish pulse running through it. I guess that's just the design, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, if you guys want me to do a Q&A crate opening again, then please do let me know down in the comments. I just thought this time we could sit back, relax, chuck me on in the background. If you're homework gang, then by all means, you know, just stick my video on in the background while you're studying, revising, all that good stuff. If you've got other work that you need to be doing, but you have a the kind of job where you're allowed to work from home, for example, or have something else to listen to, why not chuck me on in the background? You could literally just drown me out as white noise if you want. I mean, if you listen to me for long enough, eventually my words start to blur into nothing and you can almost forget that I'm there, but the, the lurking is really appreciated. And then, if you hear me screaming and going absolutely nuts, you will know that something insane has happened. So maybe that's what I'll do, maybe not. We should definitely be getting black markets in this video. So like I said, the best the best item, which will be down to my discretion, I'll probably just do it based on credit value, will... Oh, see, look how clean that looks. The pearlescent mat with the white fennec. It looks nuts. Uh, so it's going to be given away down on my Discord server. I, I think, like I said, we should get black markets because there's 200 crates. And that means you're likely, genuinely, you should be getting two black markets on average in 200 crates. But recently, the luck hasn't been that great. I pitched the idea in the trader video I did recently where I think maybe it's it's since I joined Burnt Sienna Gang. Genuinely. Like, I've had a couple of black markets in crates here and there, but honestly not a lot. I've had some decent trade-ups, I guess. I got a black standard in a trader video recently, which is my best thing since then. And obviously you're going to get pretty good luck with black market trade-ups when you do as many as I do. So I don't really count them in terms of insane luck. But since I joined Burnt Sienna Gang, I don't think I've got a painted black market in a crate, which is kind of annoying. I've had some painted exotics here and there, but just nothing that's really, you know, gonna make me scream. And, and there's just, there is good stuff in this crate, I swear. There's painted fireworks, right? There's painted black markets in here that I've never had before in my life, and we... We should be getting more lucky than we are. So I think in this video today, it changes. You've dropped a like for luck. If you haven't, please do drop a like. And, you know, if we get to 10,000 likes, we'll be getting the black market in this video. See, see what I did there? And uh, maybe you'll see some of these clips from this video on TikTok. Maybe you won't. Maybe once I've opened, like, maybe 50 or 100 crates, I think, you know what? We're not getting anything. Let's just do a best items only. It might get to that stage because at the time of recording, I did just record... Oh! Or a screen synth wave. I did just record a very rare drop trade-up video. And in there, I sort of spoke about what was on my mind. If I have to record a trade-up video and a crate opening video in the same day, I have to be very conscious not to just talk about the same exact things. Even though for me, the recording of the videos are only a few hours apart. So I spoke quite a lot back in the trade-up video about what I had on my mind today. But now there's all sorts of other material that I need to be having. But I don't know about it. So we'll see how it goes. That's why I figured we could just sit back and chill and see what we get in the crates together. Because I was actually watching one of my 
oldest crate openings. It was, of course, it was, um, if you guys don't know, speaking of lightning, I will tell you the story of kind of how I came to be the crate guy, because you don't just appear on YouTube with a few hundred thousand subscribers and a reputation of opening a lot of crates. That doesn't just happen. And obviously, free-to-play has absolutely helped explode the growth of this channel. We've gone from just under 400... Well, no, just over 400,000 subscribers to about quarter of a million subscribers, more than that, in just a few months. Uh, so all of you new viewers that are watching the videos, that are active, that are loving the crate openings, you might just see me on YouTube and think, oh, this guy's like, he's been here forever. Like every YouTuber, you just kind of look at them and you think, I cannot imagine a time when they weren't around, when they weren't at the position they were in. You know, like you think of the big creators like PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, all that. You look at them and you think, it's hard to imagine and believe that at one point, come on, it's a decal, it's, <laughs> yes, yes, my best crate, my best crate. Oh my goodness. That's my best crate of the year. A dissolver on a white fennec with white zombies. It looks beautiful. That's why I'm wearing this car. Oh my goodness. And that is why we are the crate king. That might not be a title that you've heard thrown around a long time. But years ago, as I was saying, I have I was given the title crate king because of my unreal crate luck. The amount of crate openings that I did. All that good stuff. And yet, as I was saying, it can be hard to remember that these people, these YouTubers, myself included, were at one point just like you. Watching YouTube videos, maybe thinking about creating videos, maybe having an interest in video games in my case, and then deciding to make a video on it. And I made Rocket League videos here and there. I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the entire story. So I started Pick a Pixel nearly five years ago, in February of 2016. And Pick a Pixel, a lot of people ask me this where I got my name from and everything. Pick a Pixel is a Minecraft pun. Because I started off like most gaming channels did. I was a Minecraft channel. And you can click videos, click oldest, and all the videos are there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's something, you know what I say, for a first video, it's actually not that cringy. I don't watch that first video and think, oh, oh, it's so cringe, get it away, because obviously I had five years of YouTube experience before that. So at the time of recording, being 10 years into my YouTube journey, the, only the second half was doing Pick a Pixel. So my videos weren't bad, but I started with Minecraft, the name Pick a Pixel was, the, I used the verb to pick, and the... Uh, the, the object of the pickaxe, to combine the two, picking a pixel is mining in Minecraft, because when you pick it, you're picking it with a pickaxe, and the, obviously Minecraft is so pixelated that, although they are made up of multiple pixels, one block looks like one pixel, so to mine a block is to pick a pixel, so if you're playing Minecraft with your friends, they tell you what you're doing, don't say you're going mining, tell them you're going to pick a pixel, okay, that's what it, that's what it's come from, and, and it was weird, it sounded weird when I first made the name five years ago, but now, it sounds so second nature, so I did daily videos, from February the 29th, 2016, I thought I was really cool if I uploaded my first video on a leap day, but that means my first video anniversary only comes around every four years. So there is no February 29th this year for me to celebrate my first upload, because apparently I'm, a, I'm an idiot like that. Um, but I started uploading uh, videos every single day. I got to 100 subscribers on March the 18th, I believe it was, 2016. So only a few weeks after I started, which was pretty cool. And then I made Minecraft videos every day for a couple of months. I then did a face reveal on this channel, which is again still on this channel and that allowed me to branch out making Minecraft content mostly that was the content that most people subscribe for but also a variety of other games and some videos blew up back then in terms of this channel you know I did a would you rather video that got you know 20 30,000 views something like that and I did a variety of different games and then in July I stopped it was either July or August I just stopped because I was starting my new job because I just finished school and I had to get a job. I had a year off before I was going to go to university. I started my job at McDonald's and all of a sudden going from being on summer holidays to having a job full time. I, I all of a sudden couldn't really adjust to being able to make videos every single day to the standard that I like to make them. So that meant I took like a month or so off. And then when I came back to YouTube, I made like a, a commentary video saying where I'd, where I'd been playing Rocket League in the background because it was August of 2016 that I discovered the legend himself, John Sandman. Now, I'd done a couple of Rocket League videos here and there on keyboard and mouse on Pick a Pixel. I'd done, I think, maybe five videos. I think the first uh, Rocket League video I ever uploaded on the Pick a Pixel channel was April 2016. And the first video I ever uploaded on Rocket League was February 2016 on an older channel. And I found that... I found Rocket League through my friend Max because he posted Rocket League gaming videos before that. And then when I found John Sandman in August, I was like, man, this guy's so cool. And he still is to this day. And the fact that we're friends and he and I have recorded videos together is unreal. Um, and, you know, I found him, I found Rob, I found Mike, 
and I thought their videos were great, so I basically did the same thing whenever I got the chance. I wouldn't upload daily, I'd upload every couple of weeks, every week, and that was great. I wasn't growing massively, but I, I got to a thousand subscribers, and then crates came out. And it wasn't like astronomical growth when that happened, the crates came out in September, and then in November 2016, I did something that would change my life forever. It was going to be my last crate opening. And this is the video that I spoke about earlier that I was watching what like yesterday. And it was when the crate spinner was like an old roulette wheel. And I said in the video, this will be the last crate opening I upload until C4 comes out at least. Which was, now that I know, about a month after I made that video. And I said that it was a lot of money to make the crate opening videos. And obviously I was only working at McDonald's for, forget this, £6 an hour. Which is, I think it's about $8, something like that. It's, it's really not a lot. Uh, and I was spending a lot of the money I was earning. Instead of saving it, I was spending it on keys, which are now credits in Rocket League, to open crates and make videos. So I said it was so expensive that this was going to be my last crate opening video. And in the first crate of the video, I got the rarest and most valuable wheel in the game. I got crimson lightning wheels, and you'll see in that video, I freak out, I pause like this, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like this! I'm like this! The timing! The luck! Thank you, Rocket League, for the example! Titanium White EKG! We haven't got a single exotic this opening, which is a little bit strange, but we've got one of the best black markets, a white EKG, but I was frozen, and then I looked around. And you'll, you'll, you'll think maybe I'm just like, you know, freaking out, but the reason I was looking around is because I was so aware of how insane that crate was. Like, I knew it had to be recording, and back then, I didn't have this PC. So I was recording with an Elgato on the PS4, which was plugged into an old PC, and I was recording my audio on a separate laptop, which my mic was plugged into. So me looking around, I promise you, was me checking that everything was recording, because I genuinely thought, if I try and make a video saying I got this and, and there's no footage, there's no reaction, etc. It's not going to do as well, but also people won't believe me. And then I realized that it was recording and that's when the ecstasy hit and I was just like laughing. I was in disbelief and sure enough, I uploaded that video and it started to take off. I can't remember how quickly it was initially, but very quickly I went from 1,500 subscribers to 2,000 and then within a few weeks, I want to say about... Uh, two, I'd say four weeks from uploading that video, I hit 10,000 subscribers in the middle of December. Then I, from that point, after a couple of days after I uploaded that crate video, I then uploaded every single day for a year because I was riding the wave. And uh, I went, I hit 20,000 subscribers on January 1st. I hit 100,000 subscribers in March and then 200,000 subscribers in August. So obviously I wasn't going to go to university. And then I stopped my daily streak in the following October because this PC that I'm on now broke. So that is where I came from. I was just a game channel that made Minecraft videos, funny moments videos, highlights, and I wasn't a massive YouTuber at all by any stretch of the imagination. I decided to do one final crate opening video, and I got a Crimson Lightning Wheel, which are now called Crimson Voltaics, by the way, and, and 100 keys back then, which is what it was worth, is like... Is that 10,000 credits now, I think? So it was a big deal. It was an absolutely huge deal. And then I obviously opened more crates. Here's another exotic. Oh, painted chronos. You love to see it. So that is that is where I came from. You know, it was, it was a big, big jump. It was 1,000 subscribers from starting Rocket League videos to 200,000 subscribers a year later. And that always, for the years leading up until very recently, was my massive growth period. I looked at that like, I looked at those as the glory days. But now, if that was the glory days, 200,000 subscribers in a year, what the heck is 200,000 subscribers in three months? That's, that's the absolute honeymoon phase that we are in right now. So that's my little YouTube story, I guess you could say. I think it's given us a, a nice sort of segue into the halfway point of this video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open these crates, get down to probably... In fact, no, you know what? We don't even need to get to the halfway point. I'll open this one more crate, get to 110, and then from then on... For some reason, I decided to turn this video into a my YouTube story. I will show you only the best crates, you know, cool painted imports, exotics, and black markets, and that's it. So smash a like, drop a comment down below if, you know, you enjoyed the story. Let me know what you want to do. If you want to be a YouTuber, what videos do you want to make? I'm always keen to see the comments, and the next crate you see is going to be a banger. We're halfway there. One exotic, painted, not bad. Black Market Dissolver. I think also actually the main one you want to get in this crate is a mainframe. You can get painted mainframes. I need to remember that. <laughs> 
<laughs> God. I've had Hellfires in this crate. I've had Dissolvers in this crate. The other main black market in this crate is Mainframe. And they can, of course, come painted. So the level is next level. If you can get a Titanium White Mainframe, whoo, baby. That's what we're going for. Loki, it's also possible to get some pretty tragic black markets in this crate. So even if we were to get no more exotics, no more black markets, I'd be happy because we got a Dissolver. But we got another exotic. It's a... Pink clockwork. It's actually painted. To me, my colorblind eyes can barely see a difference, but I'll take that. You know, like, even if I got nothing, I would be happy with that because Dissolver is worth thousands of credits. If you got two pretty terrible black markets, you might be getting a thousand credits if you're lucky. So in terms of value, we've done all right. And that was a good moment as well. So I'm happy with this crate opening so far. It's, it's been good. It's been really, really good. Let's keep it going. <laughs> thought I got a titanium white fennec in the crate. <laughs> My brain. It's been a long day. Oh, man. What's this one going to be? Another another white fennec. <laughs> oh, strike a finny wheel. I'm not going to show you non-painted imports anymore. It's not the one. There's gonna there's one more black market in this crate opening. I can just feel it in my bones. Oh, exotic. Come on. It's... Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my goodness. They look so clean. The black clockworks, it's almost like kind of invisible. All right, that is our best exotic of the video. We got a black market, black exotic. There we go. This is it. This is the one. This is the luck I like to see. There's, there's the burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, gang. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, it's another exotic. Surely not painted again. It is. It is. We haven't had a single non-painted exotic. <laughs> We've had the best luck. We've had four exotics. They've all been painted. And one black market. And it's been the best non-painted black market decal in the game that's absolutely outrageous rocket league is hooking us up with the luck today i feel like we've got so many painted exotics and we do happen to somehow get a mainframe surely it's not going to be painted as well pretty much everything we're getting in this video is painted exhibit a oh, lightning i don't think that even comes painted that was a bit of a fail <laughs> exhibit a oh <laughs> It is. It's, everything's painted. This is insane. Let's keep this luck going, Rocket League. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we got a second white EKG. Dude, that's so clean. I don't even know what trail I'm using right now, but I'm going to equip that either way. I might actually already be using one of those. Either way, I will, I will happily take another one. <laughs> that actually just reminded me in my head. Of course, I'm giving away that Dissolver that we got. I'm giving it away in my Discord server after this video goes live. So it'll be a few days after. Go to the description. Join the Discord server if you aren't already. We have over 30,000 members in there. Yeah, you're going to be winning a Dissolver. I don't see me beating that because for me to beat that, I don't think there's an exotic that can be painted that's even worth that. And the only thing would be a painted mainframe. But then again, you might still want the Dissolver anyway. So we'll just keep it simple. Unless we get a white mainframe, and I'll give that away instead. We'll be giving away the Dissolver that we got in this video to one of the Pixel Army from the Pixel Army Discord server. Which, thanks to all the support from you guys, is now a partner with Discord. So it's just, it's been unreal. It's been unreal, the support lately. Ooh, well, that's kind of clean. All right, not bad. We'll move on. Move on. Nearly into the final 50. I still think there's another Black Market kicking about in these crates. Oh, it's a Black Market! Oh, I, oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, 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 what, 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 dude, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the Burnt Sienna gang is too strong. It's, I, I've had two painted tunes from this crate and they're both Burnt Sienna. And that's, that's the only Burnt Sienna tune I actually have because my previous Burnt Sienna tune, I lost it in blind trading as soon as I got it. We've actually got another Burnt Sienna Black Market. It is just as likely, I say this all the time, it is just as likely to get two Burnt Sienna tunes as it is to get two white mainframes. How on earth are we being given the Burnt Sienna tune? I told you there was a Black Market in these crates. Why did it have to be that one again? I've got a Burnt Sienna tune twice in a crate. I'm going to have to put those two crates back to back in a clip and upload a TikTok or something because that is outrageous. How are you going to give me the same painted black market? Burnt Sienna gang, this Dude, there's like 10 plus different black markets you can get in this crate. And 10 plus colors of black market you can get once you get them. That makes the type of, you know, type of item at least 1 in 1,000 than the paint. It's well over 1 in 10,000. And we got it twice. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe this. I mean, if you win the giveaway and you actually prefer the Burnt Sienna tune, then feel free to take it off my hands and join the Burnt Sienna gang with me. But I think the, the Dissolve is probably still just, just taking the cake. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, it's a painted Jaeger. Saffron Turtle. Not, not the worst. We'll carry on. There might even be... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Okay, it's a regular agent. It was about time we got a non-painted exotic. I was going to say there might actually be another, a third black market kicking about in these crates. But a painted black market in Dissolver, that's my best crate opening for months. I haven't had better than this in a long time. White EKGs times two, painted exotics everywhere you look. This has been really good. I like it. Oh, it's another exotic. Come on. It's a reverb. It's an orange reverb. That's five out of six. Painted exotics. That's better than luck. That's better luck than you would expect. Painted black market as well. I can't get over it. It's burnt sienna, isn't it? Yep. Burnt sienna gang <laughs> back again. This has been nuts. I can't get over it. I'm actually really, really pleased with what we've got in this video today. Oh, here we go. It's another one. It's a regular chrono wheel. Again, I can't be mad at it. We've got 20 crates left. If we get no more black markets, no more exotics, truly, truly, I can say with the hand on my heart that I'm happy with what we've got. So we'll carry on and see what there is to find in these final 20. Oh, that's why it is titanium white muddy. It's not great, but we will take it. <laughs> All right, so we're into the final 10 now. The first one was a rare. Second one, this is going to be a very rare. Like I said, I'm totally fine with what I've got. I don't think we're going to be getting anything else, but you never know. I've had black markets on the final crate of a crate opening before. I've had painted exotics of the final crate on a crate opening before. In fact, I did a 40 crate opening, I remember, a few years ago. The first 39, I'm pretty sure I got, like, all rares, and I was about to call it the worst crate opening ever. And in the 40th and final crate, we got a painted exotic, which everyone really wanted at the time. And it was, you know, it became a really insane video. So anything can truly happen in these final crates. I think the dueling dragons I got after months and months of searching, I got it from a crate on, like, the second to last one of the video when I'd more or less given up, so to speak. So four crates doesn't sound like a lot, but we could still get something. So I'm I'm holding my breath. I'm hoping for the best. But if we do get nothing, then that will be the end of this 200 Golden Gift 2020 opening. I was super encouraged to make this one because the last one, the support on it was so unreal. The amount of likes, the comments, there's so few dislikes as well. It was just phenomenal. So all of the support on the videos, the comments, whether that's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, all those lovely places that we can, you know, catch up and have fun together playing Rocket League and doing all sorts of stuff. The support has been absolutely unreal. So, massive shout out to all of you. And that is going to do it from me. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. Check out the Discord server for the Dissolver giveaway. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome. And I will see you in the next video very soon.